there it is, y'all. We committed the ultimate sin. No. Thou shalt not burn dead on plastic. Ah. Man, what a rookie mistake. Hey, it just goes to show you're never above screwing it up. Got it way too hot. Well, gotta go measure out some more. Because that's not gonna make a very good tail plastic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all ain't supposed to see me in my reading glasses. Mm mm. Cut. So, does anyone else love getting on YouTube and watching movie reactions? So, like somebody watching Apollo 13 for the first time, or watching, uh, you know, a, a scary movie, The Shining, or, um, you know, the original Predator, the original Alien, or, you know, comedies, The Hangover. I absolutely love watching people watch movies that I like and know to see how they react to uh, certain parts, certain, you know, actors and actresses. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. I'm literally watching someone else watch a movie that I've already watched. It's the dumbest thing in the world, but we all have our vices. With that said, we've got a new mold to show you guys. And uh, what's going to be really fun is that this is going to be a two-part uh, video series. Um, so today's video is going to be basically showing a little bit of the conception and development and some of the beta testing of this mold. And then we're going to be showing you a picture of the final version of this mold at the end of this video. And then the next video is going to be like the real actual mold release with the final version of the mold. So, you know, this video, we basically have the first ever test mold in our hands of this new uh, frog mold. And uh, we're, we're going to be kind of, you know, running some baits in the test mold, testing the action, and um, just kind of talking to y'all a little bit about the development and some of the changes that have been made from this version of the mold to the final version to kind of let y'all see a little bit of the process that goes into the development of a mold. Since I'm not in Michigan, uh, you know, to, to obviously film all the behind the scenes stuff, this was sort of the next best thing. So uh, I'm pretty excited to show it to you guys. This is the frog mold that we have all been waiting for. Everyone who's uh, been a long time watcher of my channel knows that I'm a frog guy. I have my custom frog mold and uh, a lot of the fishing that I do around here in North Florida is with a topwater buzzing frog. You know, we all grew up on the Zoom horny toad and um, you know, we all love watching those fish come after those frogs. It's awesome. So let's go out to the fish cave and check it out. All right, everybody, we are back in action in the fish cave. We actually have some molds cooking right now. That's the uh, Angling AI 4-inch, oops, swim bait mold there. And uh, you can see we have the little shad dots poured because we are doing another round of these. This is gray gizzard shad and the 4-inch there. See that kill dot right there is a little too big. I, I, I was a little inconsistent on that bait. But um, all of those on, on that set are looking pretty good. So I have uh, that set chilling right there. So uh, anyway, look at this little thing. Isn't it cute? Teeny, 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 teeny. This is basically a one cavity test mold. Proto mold, if you want to call it, of the new frog. Now, you might notice that tail shape there. That is the AR tail from the AR worm. And uh, what's really exciting is that there's basically now going to be an AR frog. I don't know exactly what the name's going to be, but it's, it's in the AR series with that tail. And then there's also going to be an AR craw eventually with, you guessed it, the AR tail. So um, this is basically the beta test mold. Okay, And then, of course... Josh, in his infinite wisdom, he is always on the ball with tail molds so that you can have that black body blue tail or, you know, that, that chartreuse tail on your frog. So, so there it is. This is the uh, tail mold for it. And you'll see there that it says mini AR because this, this actual tail size is a little bit smaller than the tail on the AR worm and especially the Magnum AR worm. Um, so there's going to be like a couple of different sizes of the AR tails, this being the mini, which fits the frog. 
So hopefully that's not too confusing, but um, that right there is, um, is gonna be really, really great to use if I can get it, get it back on there. So yeah, anyway, um, this frog is absolutely incredible. Um, I've already thrown it once to test the action, but we're gonna do that, of course, here on video. And then we're gonna inject it a couple of times. Um, you know, we're gonna use the tail mold and just show y'all kind of what it's gonna look like. But this is not the final version. The shape, the size, the body, the taper, the feet, the legs, all of that is gonna stay the same. Um, the only thing that's gonna be different is he's going to change the venting in it, okay? Right, because you know, whenever you make a new mold and you cut the first test mold, generally you're gonna find where maybe there's a few problem areas, and then you know, an experienced mold maker can go back in and figure out what kind of venting is required or any changes to the mold. Um, you know, sometimes uh, you have to make a change to the gate uh, to, to get things to inject properly. Um, so he's gonna update the uh, venting and um, you know, do a few troubleshoots to make the mold perform better. And then he's going to add some detail to the body there. You can see the body's just kind of a little plain Jane there, but it's not going to be. So anyway, um, I'm excited to show this to you guys. And then I have some really, really cool pictures of the final version of the mold and some of the CAD drawings with some of the tool paths laid out that we can look at as well. Hmm. Bucket of tube blend is looking pretty low. Luckily, we got another one right there, still in the box. But um, we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to use every drop. So uh, this is uh, what we're gonna be using right there. All right, we got a lot of laundry noise. So for that, I do apologize as usual. Can't stand it. But here we go. Some dark watermelon. This is one of my favorite. Come on now, if I, there it goes. It's one of my favorite MF colors. Oh man, it just looks so great. It's one of their uh, really see-through, transparent colors. Well, anyway, we'll see where that gets us. Really beautiful. It's a lot like the uh, the goose turd from <laughs> from Dead On that we just did. It's a very brown green pumpkin. This one has a little bit more of a uh, somewhat more of a chameleon effect. You hold it up to certain lighting, and it looks more green. You know, the goose turd is more of a of, of a really great green pumpkin base. This one, this one's a little bit more like see-through chameleon-y, so to speak. So kind of two different things for two different looks, but uh, both excellent. Okay, now we're just gonna add some black flake, just some medium square cut, and that's it. That's that's basically your basic watermelon seed or or you know straight green pumpkin with black flake. Nothing fancy. All right, here we are. And uh, sorry if lighting is a little off today. It's very dark outside, so I'm not getting a lot of that good sunlight that I'm used to getting in here in Florida. So we're dealing with what we have. Okay. Now the real version of the mold is most likely going to be a three cavity, and it will not be single top port injection like this. So this is just sort of a, a test mold thing here. Top port injection, single port like that, um, is always probably the most tricky kind of mold to, to inject. Um, so, you know, Josh is uh, obviously uh, working on mold configuration to make it the most user friendly. All right, dun 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 dun, look at that. Ah, oh, that's pretty. You can see it's kind of more brown up here, more green down here, so. Um, yeah, there, there's, there's a good way to think about this color, the, the MF Dark Watermelon. You can see much more brown here, much more green here. So, oh, look at that. Flawless. Has the ridge there, similar to the Atomic Toad, which we will get out the Atomic Toad and my Custom Frog and just kind of do a compare and contrast. All three, we might even get weights on all three. Shut up, microwave. Um, so yeah, there's a couple things um, right off the bat that I think are really great features of this mold. And um, one of which we have to show you right now is the gate, okay? So just gonna go ahead and cut that off. 
And look at that. A super, super, super wide nose. Maybe I should have done this in white so that you can see every little thing. But a super wide gate and a wide nose, okay? So the wide gate helps with the injection process, okay? A thick body bait like a frog, right? A lot of hot plastic goes in there and it takes a lot longer to cool, which can sometimes um, result in denting. And, uh, and also a wide gate um, allows, allows that plastic to not close itself off while, while it's pulling from the runner and then you don't get air pockets. Um, so a lot of, lot of really great things there. And then from a user standpoint, a wide nose fits a screw lock hook, which is what I like to throw all of my buzz and toads on, uh, much better than if it came to a sharp point and a taper. So really, really great. And then of course, there's the AR tail. And uh, the bubble trail and the kick on this thing is absolutely stupendous. It is, it is really, really, really good. It's exactly what I think Josh was going for. It's funny, I actually had to test the test mold for him because his lakes up there in Michigan were still frozen. Like he really couldn't even test this frog um, in his own area. So um, luckily I was able to um, do some of that for him. So there is the first one on camera. All right, now, oops, now we're gonna run the uh, three cavity atomic toad, right? In the same color. And uh, that way we'll have a little bit of compare and contrast. So that way y'all can see the length, you know, the mass, all, all of those kinds of things, you know, the difference in the shape of the legs. And, uh, you know, anyone that has the atomic toad, you'll be able to kind of see right away a few of the key differences. And, um, and then we'll kind of we'll go from there. All right, let's take a look at these atomic toads. Yeah. Looking good. Looking good in this color. So again, you can see how the how the mold is configured, right? Sprue up here, comes down, ink, makes a sharp turn, and then it feeds the downward cavities, okay? So basically, we're only going to use one of these, okay? That way, we just have kind of one of each frog, all right? And then for kicks, we might uh, also make one of my um, custom frogs just to have a, a, a holy trinity of frogs there. But um, as you can see, a few, uh, a, a few really major differences, particularly the legs, you know? This one kind of churns more water in the action, and this one is more of a buzz, bubble trail type action. So um, I'm really curious to see uh, what they weigh. Um, so yeah, anyway, there they are right there. Those are the two AI frogs. And uh, you know, again, this one's gonna have a few embellishments, but um, this is largely what it is. This is just still the quote, beta version. So uh, let me know in the comments down below if y'all like this kind of style of mold release, doing the two kind of two part video series where, you know, video one is sort of, you know, the beta version, test mold, talking a little bit about the development, and then we kind of merge into a final version with a, you know, more full mold release when the mold is, you know, available to the public and all of that. Um, let, me, let me know if you guys like this idea. This was Josh's idea. Um, so credit where it's due. You know, the idea being to create some buzz around this buzz toad. All right, and here's the custom mold from way back in the day, probably 2014 or so. So yeah. So you can see the new frog is pretty similar to my frog in that it's a little bit longer and leaner. Um, so what we'll do is we will, we'll just pick this one, heck I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll chop it off there. You know, again, one of the things, well I did a bad job, but one of the things that I wanted to make sure I did on my frog was have a really wide nose, right? A wide nose so that we could fit that screw lock in there. And that's exactly what Josh has done. I think some of it is also a byproduct of just having to have big gates for a big hefty bait. Um, so in any event, um, that's that with, with the custom frog. And um, we'll just kind of have a uh, compare and contrast of all three. And, uh, and then we're gonna get out the tail mold and try to make something you know crazy cool with, of course, the new AR frog. 
yeah how about that pretty cool pretty cool so as you can see very 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 different frogs and uh you know one one thing i'll say about frog molds you know we're a little limited on options in the uh, bait community on frog molds i think they're just a little tricky to uh I, I i think they're tricky to design i think they're tricky to get the mold to to shoot right and uh you know they probably take a lot of machine time and so i'm i'm really really excited that josh has really gone the extra step to bring us two awesome frog molds that are not just your basic stuff that we've seen for so long so um yeah my, my hat's off to uh to ai molds for for really really taking the frog mold seriously because it's kind of been forgotten which is why i had to go custom a long time uh, well a long time ago so um anyway if we uh look at the uh, atomic toad here a very kind of short bulky frog lots of mass in the legs right which gives you a really good churn and uh, i've caught a lot of fish on this frog where i where i fish um Oops, sorry, out of focus. Caught a lot of bass on that frog right there where I like to throw my frog. Um, you can see the new in here, it's a little leaner and longer. So if we put them side by side, right? Sorry, I'm like completely messing this part up. You can see that the new frog, right, is longer and leaner. It's got a little bit more length on it, okay? And it's just a slimmer frog all in all right if we just look at the mass of the two let's look at the side profiles right you know the new one's just a little bit you know he's he works out more he's in a little bit better shape all right let's get some uh batteries in here because so i'm gonna need this to print packages this week anyway so let's see there we go Oh, why is it already on? Let's cut it off. Oh, okay, all right, zero it out. So we're going to be down to fractions of an fractions of ounces here. Okay, so let's uh, wipe that off. 0.6 ounces. Okay. So the uh, the five inch swim bait weighs 0.7 ounces. So again, forgive me for not having grams, but yeah. So the Atomic Toad, I'm going to say, is probably the heaviest one. 0.6 ounces. Uh, just for kicks, let's put my old frog on there. 0.5, yep. It's amazing how that uh, how that is. You know, and this probably isn't super accurate. 0.5, okay. Well, yeah. Okay, so you can look at those and pretty much tell which one's going to be heaviest. Um, so, yeah, re really great stuff because what I like about the Atomic Toad is it's very cast. It's very, it, well, it's castable, cast-friendly because of its weight. So the fact that this is only you know, lighter by fractions of an ounce. And of course you could add salt, you could add something to add weight to it. Um, yeah, they're both gonna cast really well. All right, here we go. Let's run a tail mold. You only need a little bit of plastic for a tail mold. And uh, bright chartreuse, that way we can see it in the water later. All right, tail mold time, let's see. All right. You didn't do a drum roll. I don't have drumsticks anymore. Say hello to my wife, everyone. Um, yeah, hey, if you can find wherever the kids hid the drumsticks, that'd be great. They're in your truck. They're not in my truck. One's in my truck. I have one drumstick. Okay, all right. So this, to me, looks a lot like... Uh, sorry for the focus, y'all, and the laundry noise. This looks a lot like the system for the tail mold for the lizard. It's sort of a ball joint. Okay, so I'm not sure if it really matters, but I guess we'll just put the legs in the bottom part <laughs> of the mold. This is technically the bottom where the uh, belly slot is. So I guess we'll, uh, we'll just kind of lay them in there. You can always use worm oil to help you out with this. Ah, uh, come on, get in there. There we go. Close. Almost got it, y'all. Almost got it. Well, in any event, that's basically it. So yeah, we're gonna lay these in there, and then I think we're just gonna shoot like a straight black body. Nothing too fancy, um, but you know, it'll have really good contrast, of course, and um, I think during a swim action test, you know, with a really dark body and then these bright legs, I think we'll probably get the best footage of the action that we can. All right, here we go. Let's 
go ahead and fill in the black body. And again, we want to inject slow, steady, and hold pressure on any large cavity bait. All right. Particularly when using a tail mold, a little bit of pressure never helps. Kind of bond up those uh, where 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 the legs meet. <clears throat> yeah, there it is. Okay, our little teeny tiny cute frog here. Let's do a reveal. Hopefully this worked. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you can kind of see where the two little ball joints, I guess, right, come up, which what shows, uh, what, what I think is interesting is how much black actually goes beyond that little uh, joint, which I actually really like because what that shows me is there's a lot of plastic involved in the bond. It's not just a straight cut. What I was getting at is that you don't have just two blunt edges trying to bond. Right, you have the little ball joints and then all of this material that goes past it. So, I really like what I'm seeing. Well done, guys. And don't ever forget the first rule of bait making. Why make one when you can make two twice the effort? Here we have another one as a backup. Okay, so I'll try to show this to you as best I can, just kind of filming my phone. Um, here is going to be the final mold layout. And what's cool is that the tool paths are sort of color coded, right? So um, what I found interesting is that uh, is, well, I spoke about it earlier. He added a lot of extra venting, okay? So this pink, I think it's actually magenta, he called it. But the pink is all vents, okay? So the tool that cuts the vents also is the same tool that cuts, you can see what looks like the inner part of the leg there or, or of, of, of the back of the leg where the tail is. But you can see the entire stretch down the leg through the seam where the tail mold enters and all of that, all the way up into the, uh, I don't know, what is, that, what is that, the crotch of the frog? <laughs> That's all vented, okay? Um, lots of extensive venting. I mean, venting all the way around the legs. Um, tons up in the body, of course, and you can see extensive venting up around the gate where you tend to have problems in, in a lot of molds. Um, so really cool. And then he added a little bit um, of sort of like a, a froggy splotchy pattern to it. Okay. And then if we swipe over, here is a picture of that in the flesh of the actual mold out of the machine. Really, really cool. Let me, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. You can see some of the detail happening there. So this is the mold that we will have for the next video during the final release. And uh, as you can see, she is a beaut. Um, same mold configuration as the Atomic Toad, um, which I think is, uh, look at all these stupid pictures on here. Oh my gosh, yeah, hold on. Uh, th there was one of my cousin. Look at this guy. Look at that dude, Tyler Peacock. But anyway, yeah, welcome to my phone library. I hope there's nothing uh, embarrassing in here. These are, these are just downloads. But anyway, that right there is the final version, and uh, we could not be happier. All right, there's Happy Jack. He's just so happy. All right, yeah, yeah, he's, he's got the frog here. All right, he's going to bring it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, you can see the tails kick. Dude, you can see the tails kick so good because they're chartreuse. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can catch it. Yeah, sorry that there's a lot of noise. I kind of wanted y'all to hear the hear, hear it buzzing. But, uh, well, there it is, y'all. All right, everyone, so um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like I said, the final release of this mold is coming soon, probably be the next video um, that we get out. I think the mold's coming to me next week. Um, so really excited to have it, and, uh, and then we'll get it out in some lily pads and, uh, and try, to, try to get a fish catch for you guys, um, do a little bit more um, you know, footage of it in the water. We went down to the dam yesterday, and um, 
wound up catching some really cool fish, but y'all won't see that footage till the next video. I, I did a little bit of blogging as I could. Avery doesn't really use the camera, so um, a lot of fish catches that I had, I just couldn't film myself and, and reel in the fish. Uh, we wound up getting into some catfish, had a rod snap, all, all kind of fun stuff. So um, in any event, it was great to get out and go fishing. And um, there again, uh, thank you guys for watching as usual. Um, if you like the channel, help it grow, hit the uh, subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then.